Hi guys, I received my June Glossy Box today. Uh, got home from work and there it was waiting for me, so obviously I ripped it open and had a good look through all the products I got. Um, and now I'd love to share it with you. So here we go. It comes in its beautiful pink box as always. You can tell I've already opened it. <laughs> um, so... The first thing in the box is the pamphlet which tells you about all the products in there but I always like to look at the products first and then read through this because I just think it's more exciting to jump straight into the products. So the first thing that caught my eye is this Vichy Derma Blend Starter Kit. Vichy is a French skincare brand, um, I think they're pretty highly rated. So excited about this as soon as I saw the brand. Um, and basically what you get is this blister pack, which has got six different foundation uh, sample testers in there. Um, and they range from fair to dark skin tones. Um, they're obviously targeted at um, Caucasian and Asian skin tones. And, and that's actually what it says here on the blister pack. Um, so I'm not sure how well they thought that through in terms of people with darker skin tones, but perhaps they gear the box um, depending on your skin tone, so perhaps people with deeper skin tones got a different box or got um, darker sample shades. But um, this foundation sounds really amazing. Um, it's got an SPF 30 in it and it's aimed at covering kind of, I guess, more severe issues. So it's uh, for irregular pigmentation, blemishes, intense redness and uh, really dark circles and bags. So I think it's... Um, a heavy duty foundation, I don't think it's a light foundation. Um, so for me, this is pretty good. Um, I have a few hyperpigmentation marks, not all over my face, but a few, and I also get dark circles. So I think this is gonna be quite good and provide me with um, quite heavy coverage. I don't think it's the kind of thing I'd probably use all over my face. It's probably something I'd use um, maybe just around my cheeks where I have more hyperpigmentation. But it looks really cool and I'm really excited to try it, um, especially as I can see that they've got about three shades in there which have got a um, a yellow base to them and I've got yellow toned skin so I'm really excited about that well done glossy box so the next few bits in here are uh, less substantial let's say um, so the next thing I've got here is a bronzer and it's a mineral bronzer by BM Beauty I don't it's not going to focus but you get one gram of the bronzer and the full product is four grams and it retails for eight pounds so this is like two pounds worth basically um i tr i've tested this out I, I just sort of um dabbed my finger in there and gently applied it to my cheeks and i mean the tiniest amount went so far um it really gave a glow to my skin um it's quite dark so i don't know how it's going to work on fair skins but um, I like it, I like it from the test I did. Um, I had a quick look on their website too, and it is a vegetarian and vegan brand, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and they try to avoid any nasties in their ingredients. So um, I think they had something about trying not to use stuff with nanoparticles um, and other ingredients which have been highlighted as not being so great for the skin. So that's cool, it sounds like a really interesting brand. Um, and I think I'm going to check them out more. Um, the only thing I would say is how on earth are you meant to get this out with a brush? I mean, a bronzing brush is big. Um, you're not going to be dabbing it in here. So I think I'm going to have to put this into a larger tub or something just so I can get like my kabuki or my bronzing brush really in there. But um, yeah, it seems like a nice product. I'll have to let you guys know how I get on with it. And then, what have we got here? Ah, yes. More perfume samples. Um, this is an Agent Provocateur sample set and it's actually got three um, perfumes in here which is, it's better than the normal stuff you get because normally you, you might just get one chucked in there but this is actually free and it's their range of perfumes and this is going to be quite a challenge to get this out with one hand so bear with me guys. Okay, so the first one you get is the original Agent Provocateur scent and I think it's just called Agent Provocateur, yeah. And this is an Eau de Toilette, um, so it's not that strong. I've spritzed this on, um, and it's not it's not to my taste. Um, I can see that some people would like it. I felt that it was a bit powdery, like it smelled powdery. 
Um, but once it settled into my skin, it wasn't so powdery. Um, I mean, it's nice, but it's, it's not my kind of thing. I go for sweeter scents. So, um, yeah, that's that one. This one was nice. This is um, Legend. Um, this was nice. This is quite sensual. Um, and I spritzed this on and I liked it. Um, and once it settled into my skin, I liked it even more. Um, it's quite a grown-up, kind of sophisticated scent. Um, definitely an evening scent. Um, but yeah, this one's nice. I'm glad I've got this one because I don't have anything like this. So that's cool. And this one I think is my favourite. Um, I don't normally go for fresh scents, but this is really fresh, but it's slightly sweet as well. I think it must have some kind of fruit in it or something. Um, but it's, it's yummy. I love this one. Um, I think I, I might even buy this. I mean, after I smelled it once, I was like, oh, I want this. So, um, yeah, I'll see how I feel once I've used up this little sample. But I quite like this, that you've got the whole range of the Agent Provocateur scents. Um, and they come in this cute little box, which is really nice. Like if you're going away for um, like a long weekend, you've got a range of scents. You've got a fresh one for the daytime and you've got a nice evening one. Um, and then you've got a third one so you can mix it up if you wanted to. So um, I might keep these for when I go away um, for a weekend or something. But to be honest, I know I'm going to end up using that red one because it's lovely. Um, okay, so this was the squid in the package. This is just a makeup brush um, and it's got glossy box on it and I don't really know if it's just a glossy box brush like is it their own brush like in the anniversary edition we got the glossy box mirror. Um, in the pamphlet it did give a brand. Um, what did it say? Let me just check. Okay, so it says series exclusive. Well, they Frenched it up. <laughs> uh, Pro Beauty Brush. Um, and it's apparently a natural goat hair blush brush. Um, that's supposed to be super soft. And it is soft, but for me, that's a tiny blush brush. And it doesn't really seem to be a brand. I mean, what they've put on the pamphlet is to go check out their blog um, in a couple of days and there's apparently going to be some more information about it but yeah I'm a bit miffed with that I yeah I, I don't really have anything to say about it <laughs> hmm, moving on okay so the last product we have is this Ease Rocher Sexy Plump Mascara and this looks really cool like the brush is amazing looking check that out it's like really long and it's thicker on the ends and slimmer in the middle um and it's supposed to give you volume a lot of volume um and this looks really good and i had a quick look on the ease rocher website and this is actually half price at the minute the normal price is 16 pounds something and at the moment it's like eight pound 40 or something um, so that looks pretty cool. So I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this out because my um, YSL mascara has sort of died on me. Um, they don't seem to last very long. So I'm going to give this a good try in the next couple of days. So that's a good one. I like having mini mascaras. I like having different mascaras to try. I'm not very loyal to my mascaras. I'm not going to be able to get this back in now. Um, yes, yeah, so that is everything in my glossy box. Um, oh! I have mascara on my nail. Um, that's everything in my glossy box. I'd love to hear what you guys got in your glossy boxes. Post a video response, post your own uh, reviews. I'd love to see them. I'd love to see what everyone else got. And if you like my review and my channel, please, please subscribe. Take care, guys. Bye.